Today I'm going to show you how to select a CMM or commercial metering switchboard in product selectors. While in SE Advantage, after you've named your quote, you want to select Add Product Selector. Once that screen loads, let's select switchboards. Here we are on the main general requirements screen, and for today's purposes only, we want to keep everything as it is, but we are going to make sure that we have selected Single Main. So we'll do that now. I like to add bus for future sections, so we'll go ahead and select that now, and then we can select our local utility requirements. Here I want to select USA user member, and then we're going to select LA DWP. Once we've made that selection, we can now close out this screen, and we're ready to move to the next step. Go up to Add Device and select Incoming Requirements. At this time, this is where you want to add all of the different cabling and which side and through the bottom. And also, if you wanted to have a utility main, you could have selected it here as well. We're not going to do that, so now we're just going to select our main. Again, we don't have a whole lot to do here because we're not going to make any changes. We are going to go ahead and go up and we're going to add our feeders. So let's add device and select main and feeders. And this time we're on the feeder screen. You'll notice that here it says breaker and this is where we want to make a change. Let's select meter socket disconnect and that sets us up for our tenant meter mains. We also want to select fusible pullout because that's what we want to select today. We're going to keep it at 100 amps and we're going to go ahead and so select six of them. Now let's add another instance, or in this case, let's repeat it because we're going to do the same thing, but this time we're going to go down and select 200 amps. Once we've made our selection at 200 amps, now we're ready to move on to the next step. We finished selecting our switchboard. Let's go up to the top and save and submit. Once we've done that, this is where you'll see a little screen pop up and here you can see it successfully submitted. Now we're ready to go back to our quote, so we're going to hit exit. Let's hit refresh and you'll notice that we have our quote. If you hover over the QED switchboard, it will drop down the description of your switchboard. The only other place you can do that is if you want to print it out. Today we've selected a commercial metering switchboard.